This is a work of narrative nonfiction, meaning it is a true story that actually happened that I have turned into a narrative format to hopefully make interesting and entertaining for you. Um, it is a story about my favorite person in the world, and uh, it is a story that tells you a great deal about uh, the relationship between uh, the two of us. Um, I feel obligated to warn you that it contains uh, language that uh, may be offensive to people who do not like the word fuck. <laughs> you have been warned. <laughs> this is called In Which Highlights for Children is Discussed at Great Length. <laughs> it's a true story. It's about me and my wife. Oh, oh. Last night on the way home from dinner, I said to Ann, Do you remember highlights for children? <laughs> of course I do, she said. I remember how I hated going to the doctor when I was a kid until I started reading highlights in the waiting room. Turn right at this intersection, I said, and Trader Joe's will be on the left in a block. She turned right, and I realized that Trader Joe's was actually to the left and then on the right. Oh, my bad. Uh, it's actually back there. As we drove under the freeway to find a place where we could make a U-turn, I said, did anyone ever read highlights in some place that wasn't the doctor's or dentist's office? She said, the library at my school had a subscription, so we'd read it there. We got to the next intersection, which featured a nice big no U turn sign. <laughs> well, this quick stop at train. At the red light. Do you have Trader Joe's? Yes. <laughs> I love Trader Joe's. Like, I'm really crazy about Trader Joe's. I would just like to meet somebody at Trader Joe's. I would like to meet the guy who chooses where Trader Joe's goes. <laughs> because I imagined him looking through papers like this. Oh my god, this is great. The building's fantastic. We're going to be able to theme it really well. It's highway adjacent. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This parking lot is way too big for Trader Joe's. <laughs> douchebag in an SUV. Okay, first of all, fuck you. Second of all, douchebag in an SUV who backs into a parking place in the Trader Joe's parking lot that can barely hold the shopping cart return corral? I hate you. <laughs> Should have turned right and we turned left. Uh, this quick stop at Trader Joe's is turning into quite an adventure, I said, while we waited at a red light. We were quiet for a second, and then I said, you know, I bet seeing highlights at someone's house would have been like seeing your teacher at the grocery store, right? <laughs> like, it's something familiar, but it's totally out of context, so you don't know what to do, but just try to avoid eye contact. <laughs> the light turned green, and we made a left onto a dark industrial street. You know what I always hated about highlights? And said, some idiot kid had always circled the hidden pictures. <laughs> Seriously, I said, fuck that kid, man. <laughs> that kid's a dick. <laughs> she looked at me, she said, and what kind of parent gives their kid a pen to draw all over a magazine that's obviously intended for more than one kid to read? <laughs> Asshole parents, I said. <laughs> it's called Highlights for Children, jerk, not Highlights for Your Children. <laughs> because doctor's offices don't exactly have pens lying around, she said. She pulled into a driveway about halfway down the street and turned around. Yeah, some mom had to go into her purse, dig around all that crusty used Kleenex, those like stray singular pieces of aspirin and like half broken Alka-Seltzer tablets, that weird giant checkbook wallet thing that moms carry around, and find the pen. We turned back toward Trader Joe's. I raised my hands over my head as we went through the freeway underpass. Whee! <laughs> my hands back in my lap. I mean, that's a lot of time for her to think, hey, maybe I shouldn't be giving little Johnny Snotface this pen to ruin the magazine for all the other children who will be in here. We turned into the tiny Trader Joe's parking lot. As we got out and walked in, I said, you know, highlights for children should have done a goofus and gallant about that. The doors opened. 
Ann stopped and turned, looked at me and said, you have spent a lot of time thinking about this. 